Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is uh, barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of excitement and expectation. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. You can see we've already started here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Well, someone who could ignite this contest is Stefan El Shirawi. He usually starts from a wide attacking position before cutting inside with a combination of, of pace and skill. And he's more than a decent finisher too, so keep an eye on him. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. El Sharawi, who's short. Just brushed off the ball there. Rashford, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. Juan Bissaka goes long. We've got a corner here. It's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. It'll be a throw-in. Wan-Bissaka. Maguire. Manchester United have begun the game in high-octane fashion. Yeah, whether they've been allowed to set the standards or not, they're setting them, and a goal has to follow. Martial. Martial gets it out to the wing. It's Alex Telles. Cavani. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Jekko absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team really, your striker should be the first line of that defence and, and he's delivering. Juan Bissaka. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Daniolo. Diawara goes looking. He's looked long this time. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Out to the left it goes. Al Sharawi is onto it and can take it up. Up for a throw. Cross it here. De Gea catches it safely. Hoists it forward. Zaniolo. Forward it goes. Mukitarian. Good challenge. Stood up well against his man. And that's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Alex Tellez, 
and it's played forward. Roma are taking a simple, modern approach here. Yeah, but I'm all for simplicity, Peter. If it works, it's good enough. Santo. Smalling. Smalling plays it forward. McTominay. And the counter is on. Has a hit! Goal! Manchester United! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Lindelof. Bruno Fernandes tries to stroke it through. Diawara. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Diawara, Roma going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Now it's El Sharawi. Finds himself eased off the ball. Oh, that's not going to go down too well with his teammates. Time whistle. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, Peter, there really hasn't been an awful lot to separate the two sides. One goal scored from a breakaway, and, and that's it. So I'm expecting the second half to start in um, in this manner too, and, and this is by no means decisive, and there's plenty of time left to to get back into this. Manchester United are in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And we're already back on the way here. Manchester United carrying a one-goal lead. Rashford. And it's Rashford. Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Fernandes tips one through. Diawara, Zaniolo, plays it out to the flank, chip through. Juan Bissaka positions himself well and cuts it out. Maguire. Manchester United ahead here by what is still the only goal. Now it's Cavani, Bruno Fernandes. Appearance and very necessary. Popper. Martial hits one. Oh, didn't catch it right. Cavani reacted so well to bring that ball under control. Looked easy too. And he's there to cut it out. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Pogba. Looking to break out here. 
Now it's Pedro. He's left his man. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Checo. He hits it. Oh, denied brilliantly. Checo really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Now it's Martial. It's a loose ball. Played towards the front men. Spinazzola. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I'm inclined to feel that if I was in that dugout, I'd want the players to, to get on the front foot and grab another. Just try to, to make this... Going for goal! But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. Pogba. Out to the right. He gets past his man. Plenty waiting in the middle. Juan Bissaka gets it back. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, and that should have been two. Marshall was totally aware of how that chance could have impacted on the game, and that should have gone in. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. And it's Martial. And here's Pogba. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Smalling can hoist it clear. It has got through to him. That intervention was... Has a goal! And yes, it's there! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. up and very little time left surely this is it yeah looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me I have to say El Sharawi Pogba battles to win it back Lindelof all the way back and they start again Juan Bissaka who's ball who's gonna get there Gets away from his opponents. Tries a shot! And that may well be that. That is that. Manchester United emerged victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. I want to sum up what we've witnessed, Jim. What I'm most